So in this video, I think that the OpenAI saga might be coming to a conclusion as some very interesting changes have been made. So let's dive right into exactly what just happened one or two hours ago to show you guys exactly where this could be heading next. So one of the first things that happened, and this is going to be a really decent timeline, this is Ilya Sutskova, and he actually tweeted, interestingly enough, that he regrets his participation in the board's actions and that he never intended to harm OpenAI, which I do believe to be true. He says, I love everything we've built together and I will do everything I can to reunite the company. So for whatever reason, it seems that Ilya Sutskova has had a change of heart. And because of this change of heart, many people are starting to be quite confused as to why that is. You have to understand, it was only yesterday that Ilya Sutskova said that he reaffirms his decision to remove Sam Altman from the board when Sam Altman tried to come back into the company. And it was only after Sam and Greg Brockman joined Microsoft that Ilya did tweet this. Now, something that was interesting in a response to Ilya's tweet was a response from Elon Musk. And Elon Musk says, why did you take such a drastic action? If OpenAI is doing something potentially dangerous to humanity, the world needs to know. And of course, this is what is interesting because... Ilya Sutskova hasn't publicly stated anything or given any reasons for removing Sam from the board. However, we did get a new article in which they did give us this reason. You can see that on this article from Business Insider, it says OpenAI employees were given two explanations for why Sam Altman was fired. They're unconvinced and furious. It says during a meeting with employees, OpenAI's Ilya Sutskova offered two explanations for the ousting of Sam Altman. The explanation involves statements he made to the board regarding personnel. And the funny thing is, employees didn't buy these reasons and most of the company is now prepared to quit. So here's the real reason that Ilya Sutskova apparently ousted Sam Altman from OpenAI. One explanation was that Sam Altman was said to have given two people at OpenAI the same project. And that the other was that Altman allegedly gave two board members different opinions about a member of personnel. An OpenAI spokesperson did not respond to requests for comments. The article goes on to state that these explanations didn't make any sense to employees and were not received well. Internally, the going theory is that this was a straightforward coup by the board and it's been called inside the company and out and any reason given by the board now holds little to no sway with the staff. So it's clear from that that Ilya Sutskova regrets his decision. And what's even crazier is that not only do we have this tweet from Sam Altman with love hearts to Ilya Sutskova's recent statement about his regrets on doing that to the company, we have some very interesting things that people missed when looking at the letter that the OpenAI employees wrote to the board. So this is the OpenAI letter to the board. And this was written by the employees to the board because they wanted some final decision on how this company was gonna go. Because as you know, right now, everything is completely undecided. So some of the key parts from this letter, I'm gonna go summarize. So it says the process through which you terminated Sam Altman and removed Greg Brockman from the board has jeopardized all of this work and undermined our mission and company. Your conduct has made it clear you do not have the competence to oversee OpenAI. The letter basically says that you guys messed up completely and we have no idea why you did that because you basically nearly ruined the company. And we're literally one of the best companies on the planet. And how did you mess this up? Now, here's something that I'm gonna read for you guys. It says, your actions have made it obvious that you're incapable of overseeing OpenAI and we are unable to work for or with people that lack competence, judgment and care for our mission and employees. We, the undersigned, may choose to resign from OpenAI and join the newly Microsoft subsidiary run by Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. And Microsoft has assured us that there are positions for all OpenAI employees at this new subsidiary should we choose to join. We will take this step imminently unless all board members resign and the board appoints two new lead independent directors such as Brett Taylor and Will Hurd and reinstates Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. And you can see it's signed by literally as I scroll down, I'm going to show you guys this web page. It is signed by an absolutely insane number of people. What's crazy about this is that it is signed by 700 people. And you want to know what's crazier? is that 770 people work at OpenAI. And I remember seeing some tweets recently that around 750 people have signed this letter. So essentially, ladies and gentlemen, we have pretty much 95% of OpenAI saying that, look, if you guys do not resign as the board, we are gone. Now, do you wanna know what's crazier about this letter? Ilya Sutskova actually signed this letter too. 
which means that Ilya Satskovic has seemingly changed his opinion or changed the side that he's on in terms of this. Now, the thing is, I don't know how this has happened so quickly. I mean, first he wanted to fire him. Now he's quickly backing him. The whole situation is definitely very confusing. And even the reason he gave to OpenAI employees doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now, what's crazier was that the new CEO of OpenAI, and I don't know how long that is going to last for, Emmett Shear, did a huge post in which he discusses some stuff. Now, essentially, the main post from this is that he's just talking about how I'm going to hire an independent investigator to dig into the entire process leading up to this point and generate a full report. We have no and we have no idea how long that's going to take. Then we have to continue to speak to as many of our employees, partners, investors, and customers as possible. Take good notes, share the key takeaways, and then of course reform management. Yada yada yada. The most important point from this entire post is the last statement that he said. He said, "PPS." Before I took the job, I checked on the reasoning behind the change. The board did not remove Sam for any specific disagreement on safety. Their reasoning was completely different from that. And I'm not crazy enough to take this job without board support for our commercializing our awesome models. So it's clear that Sam Altman wasn't fired for anything AI safety related according to new reports. So now it looks like we're swaying back to the opinion that it may have been a coup attempt after all. Now there was also something that I did see on the timeline and something that I was aware of that has been brought to light. And this is because the board's conflict of interest may have been revealed recently. And this was based on someone on the board that most of you guys don't know about. So let me break this down for you because this could be potentially one of the main reasons that Sam Altman was kicked out of OpenAI and that this quote unquote coup, because at this time we still don't know, was started. So this tweet explains it perfectly. If Ilya held his opinion on kicking Sam Altman out that loosely, then who was the driving force at the board table? It's looking increasingly like that it was Adam D'Angelo, who was likely upset that his product launch got destroyed by custom GPTs. If you don't know who Adam D'Angelo is, he's the CEO of Quora. If you don't know what Quora is, the company that he's the CEO of, it's basically kind of like Reddit, but not the same. It's a place that you can answer questions. Anytime you Google a question, one of the first things that will come up is the website Quora, and you have people that are answering those questions. Now, here's the crazy thing, okay? A couple months back, Quora actually started to integrate AI stuff. We actually did cover this in one of our videos about they had a new platform that was launched around February and it was called Poe. Now, here's the crazy thing, okay? The tweet goes on to state that it's increasingly likely that it was him who was upset that his product launch got destroyed by custom GPTs. And one of the reasons that they said this, and this actually does kind of make sense now that we think about it, was that they said the Sam Altman was not consistently candid. And that also means that you didn't tell me you were going to humiliate me by competing with my product launch. So essentially, the company that this guy on the board is working on is a direct competitor to the custom GPTs that was launched. And many people are theorizing now that because Sam Altman may have not been as transparent with the monetization of the custom GPTs, that this person on the board may have been frustrated at this and may have helped lead that coup. So you've got this tweet here from Nick Dobos that says, boycott Poe and Quora. Sam Altman didn't tell Adam D'Angelo he was going to kill Poe's store and Adam is forced to kill OpenAI or watch Quora die after spending the last year and millions to build that app. And number three is basically saying, it's just boycott Poe and save ChatGPT. So if you can see from Poe's user interface what this app is, it's essentially a GPT wrapper that was built by Quora and essentially, you can create bots, you can put knowledge on those bots, and you can essentially access many different things. Now, this is actually pretty similar to the GPT store, which is why many people are stating that this is why he wanted to oust Sam Altman, because maybe he could focus, instead of on making customized versions of GPTs, we could then focus on ChatGPT, and then Poe could potentially grow without chat gpt's custom gpt's as competition because sam altman didn't tell them that so you can see right here we've got popular bots and new bots for example like creative writer yada 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 and this seems very similar almost identical to the custom gpt versions so it might be and this might be one of the real reasons that this actually happened because this guy does have a seat on the board and although he doesn't own any stock in OpenAI, although these board members don't hold any equity in OpenAI, this definitely is 
an incentive for them to make that decision. Now, what's interesting as well is that someone that is a member of the go-to-market team of ChatGPT Enterprise actually retweeted this theory. So that brings a little bit more credence to this theory and it seems like things are starting to come to light. Although you do have to remember at this point, this is still unconfirmed and this is just a theory. Until more information does come to light, we won't know if this was the real reason. What's even crazy about this entire situation is that although Sam Altman did join, quote unquote, join Microsoft, according to multiple sources, it, Sam Altman still isn't actually part of Microsoft as of yet. You can see that this article by The Verge that says Altman's move to Microsoft isn't a done deal and Ilya's flip to supporting Altman's means the two board members need to change their minds. This article is basically saying that look, Sam Altman hasn't officially signed the paper and dotted the lines on that Microsoft deal yet. And because Ilya Sutskov has flipped and around every single OpenAI employee wants Sam Altman back, and if they don't, they're going to go with him anyways, it seems like Sam Altman could very well be going back to OpenAI. Although I personally do doubt this since they've just been moving forward and backwards. And since with an already shaky internal, it just seems like we're pretty much undecided at this point. Now, what's even crazier about this is that Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, did an interview on Bloomberg. Now, I can't include any clips from that, but I do have the summary of the key points that he made that you do need to know about. Now, one of the things that is crazy is that the CEO of Microsoft still doesn't know why Sam Altman was fired. He was talking with Emmett and he was talking with the other people who were working at OpenAI and he said he still wasn't given a clear reason. So he still believes in Sam's ability to lead the new AI division. Now, what's also crazier is that Satya Nadella was asked if Sam and Greg have officially joined yet and he responded in saying that they haven't officially joined, but they are in the process. And that he also said that he's going to be working with Sam Altman no matter where he is. This means that if Sam Altman decides to rejoin OpenAI and remove Ilya Sutskova and the entire board, then they're still going to be working with Microsoft. And if he just joins Microsoft as the CEO of the new AI division, then of course, he's still going to be working with Microsoft. So either way, it seems that Microsoft want whatever team that Sam has to stay with him. In addition, Microsoft also did state that they do want governance changes because they never want a situation like this to ever occur again. Now, what's crazy about this, right, is that if all the OpenAI employees leave and join and go Microsoft, this is going to be a very bad situation for the investors. You have to understand, unlike Microsoft, who has a pretty decent deal because they've still got billions of dollars and they're a conglomerate, other companies, although they do have millions and billions of dollars too, they aren't as big as Microsoft and they do want to recoup their initial investment. If OpenAI simply crumbles and everyone leaves with Sam Altman, these investors are going to be piling on lawsuits against the OpenAI board. And this is an article from Bloomberg. It says OpenAI investors are still trying to return co-founder Sam Altman to a leadership role at the ChatGPT maker and Microsoft has signaled that it wouldn't oppose such an outcome. So the three companies, Thrive Capital, Coastal Ventures and Tiger Global Management are looking to protect their investment after the OpenAI board forced Altman out on Friday. And this makes sense. If I was them, I wouldn't like to see my investment go up in smoke and I would rather Sam Altman return to the original company. So it's clear that we do know that right now, if Sam Altman doesn't return within the next couple of days, then OpenAI is officially going to be done. It's clear that lawsuits are going to be filed and then that new Microsoft AI division is basically going to be OpenAI 2.0. Now, what's crazier, okay, that was only literally an hour or two ago, is that OpenAI, the whatever team is there now, actually reached out to its biggest competitor, Anthropic, for a potential merger of the two companies. Now, we did hear rumors about this yesterday night. There were people talking about rumors of OpenAI approaching Anthropic. Now, if you don't know what Anthropic is, Anthropic is the company that is focused on AI safety and has launched the model Claude 2 a popular large language model that is, of course, one of the rivals slash competitors to ChatGPT. Now, here's the thing, okay? It says it's not clear whether the merger proposal led to any serious discussion and Mode quickly turned down the CEO offer due to his position at Anthropic. The two-year-old startup, which sells Claude, is still in fierce competition with OpenAI to recruit researchers and win customers. So I think that this is definitely a Hail Mary and an interesting thing because if the OpenAI board knows that they need to resign or else the company goes under, why would they try and approach Anthropic about a merger? Maybe it's because they're trying to just salvage the last remains of the company. But it seems like right now, what we do have on our hands here is a very interesting situation that Sam Altman and Microsoft are still going to win from. If the board decides to not resign for whatever reason, which wouldn't make sense because the entire company leaves, Sam Altman and 750 employees are going straight into Microsoft to build probably the exact same software, but even better. And it's likely going to be 
for profit now because they're being funded by Microsoft. And if the board does resign, then it seems like everything just goes back to normal. So either way, it seems like right now we are at at least somewhat near the end of this situation. But in a couple of hours, we should definitely have another update. And of course, we had an interesting tweet from Jerry Tworek, which is a deep reinforcement learning researcher at OpenAI. He tweeted, the real friend was the AGI we made along the way. And this is a playful twist on the popular phrase, the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. So it's definitely interesting because it's a funny tweet based about AGI, but is that a subtle hint at the fact that they did make AGI or is this just a play on words? Either way, I don't think AGI is that far fetched. It was literally in 11th, it was literally in the 11th of April, 2023, Microsoft released their Jarvis, which was essentially one of the first early examples of an AGI. And that didn't really get that much coverage. So it will be interesting to see how these next couple of months develop.